what? On the eye. On the eye. Intellectually, of course, you know what it means. I'm trying to say that this scripture is saying that the eye of the body, the eye is the light of the body. That when the eye is full of evil, everywhere is dark. And I'm trying to say that no matter how good the engine of a car is, I know you have a fuel tank. If your windscreen is dark, you cannot move the car. Is it true? So you cannot drive when your windscreen is dark. So which means what we call motion actually is a product of vision. So without vision, there will be no motion. I hope you listen to me. Please pay attention. So when you are making move, is an indication that you are seeing something, whether physical sight or mental sight. Are you following me now? Or spiritual sight. But there will be no motion without what? Without sight, without vision. If you are here, please say amen. amen. Are you with me? Yes, Just stay with me. I'm trying to bring to our understanding that while we thank God for the past of the body, when the eye is wrong, every other thing will be wrong. The first is what? The haughty eye. Please listen. Listen. Haughty eye. Now, pay attention to this. The Bible said that that haughty eye means pride. It says there a proud look. Listen. Pride is actually caused by two things majorly. One is what I would call pride of possession or position. Second is pride of perception. Don't forget this. Pride is caused by two things primarily. Pride of position and pride of perception. Listen. Pride of position is the pride that comes because of achievements, because of status, because of giftings, because of talents, parents' wealth, intellectual prowess, whatever you have acquired, those things have the tendency to make you proud. So that one is called pride by what? This is what John called pride of life. It is pride that comes because I can sing, I can preach, I have this, I have attained this height, I've gotten this. Every man has that tendency to be proud when you come to a certain height in life. Are you getting about that now? So this is the first point. But that's not where I'm going. And not that dangerous kind of pride is the pride that comes not because of what you have achieved, but because of the way you see things. What the eye is not pride by position. It is pride by perception. The devil is aware that once your perception is corrupted by trouble. Listen. Pride by perception, if you ask me, is more dangerous than pride by position. I have this and I'm arrogant because of what I have acquired, achieved. My status can cause pride. But I see another one so dangerous. You never arrive anywhere. You are yet to achieve nothing. You've not seen anything. You've not touched any realm. You've not even acquired anything. Nobody even knows you exist. But the devil has done something to your eye. It is called that the eye. So this one is, you think you have, but you are empty. It is the pride that makes you undermine everybody. You overestimate yourself and underestimate every other person. I can tell you this one is more dangerous. 
All of them are evil. But pride by perception. I will read this one higher. Hot eye. Are you getting me now? Yes, Pay attention everybody. This is the pride. The enemy will release in the atmosphere. My generation is not suffering because of pride by position or position. They are suffering of the pride that comes by perception. This is a wicked pride. This is a dangerous kind of pride. Pride that comes by perception. Overestimating yourself, underestimating everybody. This is wickedness. And you must understand what the devil is doing. And I want to open your eyes to show you that what actually that we are facing as a generation is this thing called what the eye. The devil is aware that perception is stronger than reality. He knows that what he tampers with your perception, you are in trouble. If you're still here, let me get to a name of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Pride by perception. Hold the eye. You look down on everybody. You overestimate yourself. You overcarry yourself. So, what the enemy succeed, he will go and relax because he is aware that no prayer point can change you. He knows. Until your perception is collected, realities are very far from you. Ah! So the devil will cause the people's eye, cause people's eye to be hot. Can I take this a little bit further? Yes, sir. Yeah. Perception or negative perception, the enemy brings haughty eyes. Let me tell you how it comes. Negative perception can be gotten through lies. Listen, lies. When the devil begins to spread lies, that's how you sponsor evil eyes, haughty eyes, haughty spirits. Do you remember Matthew 28? When Jesus resurrected, you remember? The Bible said he caught on, up on the third day. And when he resurrected, the Jews and some guys, they said, ha! That the news of his death is even small. That the news of his resurrection will cause more harm than good. What do we do? We cannot stop his resurrection, but we can spread lies. So they gathered money, huge money, and paid the soldiers and said, if people come here, tell them we are the guards here. When we were here, his disciples came and did what? Uh -huh. And stole his body. Watch. They began to spread the lies. They began to disseminate the lie. They began to share the lie everywhere. I hope you know that millions of people are in hell today because of that wrong perception. Are you aware? Many people die and are still dying because the enemy pushed a lie in the atmosphere and all that people's perception. The enemy is aware he cannot stop resurrection being the reality. But he's also aware if I cannot stop Jesus from rising, I can stop men from seeing his resurrection. So what do I do? We're going to push up a lie in the atmosphere and make sure we all people's eye, people's perception, that when we are breaking the reality, they cannot see it. The God of this age blind their eyes. So when we are telling them he died and resurrected, they will be laughing because their reality cannot come to them because the enemy sponsored a lie and altered their perception. No matter what you preach, they won't believe you. For them, you are a nuisance making noise. For them, you are telling tales. You cannot help a man until you change his perception. You cannot change a man until you change his perception. You cannot transform a man until you transform his perception. You cannot lift a man until you lift his perception.
deception. Lies are instruments in the hand of the enemy to alter people's perception about realities. I will say here, Kinakota Panatada, Likuna Kineti Nakona, Bretina Kona Matada. Listen and pay attention, everybody. Pay attention now. The Bible recorded that as this news began to spread, who are you, Nakometeba? Who are you? Or anybody here will be any witness. Do you realize that evil news spread faster than good news? Have you asked yourself why? It's not natural, it's demonic. It's the enemy pushing light in the atmosphere. Because the enemy is not aware. Once we alter their perception, the real thing will be far from them. So what the enemy is doing in my generation is that when something happens, he will magnify it, spread the lie. He's not just targeting anything. He's targeting your perception. So, one man abuses his wife, they said. She became sick, and maybe she died. The same day, posted on social media. Another man is celebrating 50 years of marriage together. The same day, we've been together for 50 years. Posted the same day, one person died out of an abusive marriage. Which one will spread faster? Now the enemy is aware. If we can corrupt your perception about marriage, we have destroyed homes. Yes, sir. So, bloggers, bloggers, they knew that they feed on lies. It is not new, it's part in the Bible. Give them money, let them spread lies. So, they are pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, cor corrupting your perception about marriage. So tomorrow, you are entering a new home with fear. See now? You are no longer seeing honey in marriage. You are seeing abuse. Because your perception has been corrupted before you get married. You are not getting, are you getting rid of that at all? You must understand what I'm teaching you. I'm giving you high level of intelligence in the, in the spirit. Listen, the devil is aware that news, evil news, negative news, is these are the system he uses to corrupt people's perception. Why do you think that my generation, younger ones, they are they are the one championing that God is a scam? Pastors are fraudsters, ministers are thieves, churches are clubs. Do you know why? You see, when I see this on social media, I laugh. Keep, even some men of God don't understand the game. It's not about replying to on social media. The devil is strategic. Call him whatever, but he's very strategic. Pay the money. Give brothers money. They will get one million views when they say that a pastor impregnated a house help. See now? Now, they are working on your perception. They are working on your eyes. The devil is playing dead with your perception. That church is a scam. Are you getting me now? It's a strategy of the devil. It's trying to give you a haughty eye. I'm giving you the foundation of this thing called haughty eye. You must understand this. What the enemy tampers with your perception about God, you are gone. So, Pastor Paul and Nietzsche will go to Cameroon and gather all the cripples, the wheelchairs, the crutches, gather all to the glory of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. It will not end. But one pastor in one village or one city, they say he's trying to do Kajo miracle. Which one will trend? The enemy will we, 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 we push what he called negative miracle. 
Real money will not trend because the devil knows that what he wants, he magnifies the faith ministry or the faith pastor. He's working on your perception. So the next time you go to church, you are like, all this. You see now? I'm showing you demonic strategy. You were the wise. So the thing is flying. It's flying. Positive news don't fly. The system of the enemy is to bring you to a point where they will alter your perception about Jesus, about church. So you go to social media. Why do you think that the generation I am born into, the people that are called this today are young people? Two of us. Occultic men in the old or years back, they are not to be gathered in men. Yes, sir. Is this true? Yes, sir. Now, today, young people are now forming all kinds of clubs. Why do you think that the young people today, all of them, they say, they are that milli, they are not milli, and all the people say, right? But why do you think? I hope you know that the years back, these are the kind of practices that people do in the secret. Hiding. Is it true? Yes. They are afraid to, to, to make themselves know that they fraternize with wickedness. But today, they can look up the Facebook account. Tell you that I am Adam. Are you getting now? The issue is not seen. Her perception about God has been altered. No matter what you preach, it can't help her because the devil has shipped lie and convinced her that God church, men of God has come and because she has been gotten, all the eyes entered, she now overestimates herself and underestimates everybody once your perception is altered, you are in trouble 